Hey everybody out there, it's Rory from ANS Gear here to show you the RAP4 T68 AK47. Now, as you can see, if you're looking for a gun that has the realism, has the looks, has the weight, uh, this is the gun for you. It's obviously based off the AK47 Kalashnikov, the most popular assault rifle used in the world. Um, if you're looking to be the bad guy or be um, the terrorist in any kind of scenario game, this would be the gun that you would need to pick. Uh, it's got that bad boy look to it, uh, bad guy look, this is, this is the one you want. Um, it's based off the RAP4 T68, which is their tried and true gun. Very, very rugged and very durable, so you know that the, the quality of this gun is going to be up to par. Uh, solid metal construction on the body right here, and their stock grip and uh, front grip are all made of real wood, so you got that good texture, the good feel, uh, no plasticky, nothing gimmicky or chintzy about it. Uh, on the front side here, looking at about a 14 inch barrel. Now the barrel does come out, it's spider threaded, so I can remove the barrel separate from the front grip here. Let me pull, you, pull it out and kind of show you what it looks like. Here it is. Now if we get a close look right here, you can see that there is a groove and an o-ring in here. Now this o-ring section with the groove, it's going to kind of slide inside this front part of the shroud and that's going to keep it from wobbling around. So if you're looking to switch barrels, um, I don't really recommend it, but you could. Obviously spider thread it, you'd have to find something that's going to fit inside the shroud and get all the way through the front here. But you might have a little bit of wobble and this o-ring is in here on purpose to keep the barrel in position and keep it from you know, obviously wobbling around or having any problems. But if you really wanted to and wanted to spend the time to find something different, you definitely could. Put that back in here. And as you can see, we got a, a strap. It's a real cloth strap with real leather buckles. So definitely uh, got the authentic realism thing going for it. Your mag clip right here is removable. It is hollow on the inside. There's nothing inside here but you could store anything you want inside there. If you're in a scenario game, you can store important stuff in there. You got secret documents, whatever you want to put them in there, you can. Uh, or if you need to store some tools, you can obviously put those in there too. Got our stainless steel line set up to our aluminum ASA. Tank's gonna screw right in the back there. As far as tanks go, obviously this gun will work on CO2, but it will also work on uh, compressed air. Just make sure that your compressed air bottle is a high pressure output. Uh, 800 to 850 PSI in order to get the velocity and to make the gun cycle properly. Um, the, the rear stock back here does have quick release tabs, just kind of like an A5. These pins are going to pull out the back like that, very similar to an A5 tab. And that's going to let the stock slide right off and then that's where you get into your maintenance. You got your velocity adjustment and your bolt up in the top up there. slides right in, put your pins back through. Super simple, super easy. Pop this all together right here. Now, we've got our cocking rod right here, we've got our safety switch right here. You've also got your feed neck from the top right here. Your feed neck is offset from the body so that as uh, you put your loader on there. You're not in the way right here. You can see down the gun. Uh, got your line of sight going on. You've also got flip up sight right here. So you can do all of your uh, sighting through the front right there. Now you've also got two different guns. You've got, you've got your full stock version, which we're looking at right here. But you've also got a folding stock version. There's the sign put this over here. You got your folding stock. Basically it's the same gun right here. Same exact everything except for the stock on the back side right here. Now if we look at this right here we can fold this back part down or up right here. This is going to be resting in your shoulder. We can turn this back like that. Now on this side right here we can, this piece right here actually lifts up and it's going to control well, if this can move so we can actually, it's kind of hard to see, lift this, pull it like this, and that's going to release the locking mechanism, which is going to let us move this. So we can actually slide this around 
up to the front and put it underneath where the gun is going to sit. So this is going to be out of the way, up in the front here, right up underneath the gun. So you've got now a very compact model right here. Again, then we can bring it back out by releasing this up, bring this back forward, like so, fold our shoulder rest down, and now we've got another rear stock. Again, this is the RAP4 AK-47, both the collapsible stock version and the full stock version, available at ansgear.com.